really several main drivers for grid modernization today. The first is just the aging infrastructure on the distribution grid. Really, it was designed to be replaced on a 40-year life cycle, and it's currently happening in the United States on over a 100-year life cycle, so a lot of aged assets on the distribution grid. The second main driver is evolving customer needs. Customers today have different desires and different requirements from the electric grid than they have in the past. Some examples include rooftop solar, electric vehicles, and even just the reliability requirements that they have with their electric grids. And then finally, I would say that the last driver for grid modernization is just advanced technologies and all the automation that we're trying to add to the distribution grid to make it more intelligent and self-healing. We have developed a three-phased or three-tiered approach to developing a grid modernization strategy that is holistic and comprehensive for the distribution system. Strong, smart, sustainable. Strong grid can sustain threats as well as provide inherent resiliency in delivering what it is meant to deliver in terms of power to customers. Once we have a strong grid, we can then make that grid smart, where we can add automation, where we can add the capacity to meet those evolving customer needs. We can then optimize the way we operate and that we maintain that grid and we can start to take advantage of advanced analytics and we can start to make sure that we are allocating capital in the right places and that we're proactively replacing assets that are about to fail and not investing in what many refer to as stranded assets.